It's almost starting already. And immediately get a meta quest added. This could go quicker, this would be great. I hate YouTube ads on the computer at least and they're more quicker on mobile you could just skip them I'll later just make this into a video and post it on its own Hello, OG Luffy. We finally getting block shoot news. Crazy, right? How long has it been? Almost a year now. I, I randomly extreme at the same time. I randomly found this out that they, they all this. I was falling asleep on my share. I was playing some Pokemon, um, black or white. Yo, early crew, let's go. What's up? This is cool. Yearly updates are good. Yearly updates, yeah, if, um, you know, if they gave us a lot of content. Uh, oh, the guns. My PC, I swear to God. Okay, good, the subtitles are there. I might like it right now. Ain't no way. Hopefully there's some updates massive. Me too. If this isn't like a renew for everything, but it seems like it is. If it isn't, I'm gonna be so annoyed. Let me see what's wrong with this thing. Hold on, hold on. Let me give me give me a minute. I, I I'm gonna fix this. I'm gonna fix this. I am not watching this video on this low quality. I, I'm not watching this like that, bro. I am not. I need, I want to see what what they have. I want to. I want to. I want to see. I want two back. Two back. Oh. All right. All right. Let me put this a little bit louder. If I can. New guns. New location. New lamp. Um. Is that new grass? Would you? I know that's a new building. That's a new wall. That's there's a flag over there. Okay. That's new. All that's new. Center. New. That's old. I just want to put emphasis on that. It's definitely not due to that because the devs have been going absolutely crazy in the background. Okay, you guys haven't even seen half of the update, 
and half of the stuff has been worked on. So you guys know yeah, that was the something they said last time, and look what happened. And, and as the delay kept getting more and more, we started deciding to, you know, to add more content to the game to make up for the delay. But that ended up making the delay even worse. We just kept adding more and more content, and the delay got even worse. We got extremely lucky that you guys, as the supporters of Bloxers, have been very very supportive of the game you guys have been still playing the game every single day the he's trying to hype his own the whole blocks nice reviewers hype them up the devs have been given time to lock damn that looks nice it looks better i'm not even trying to glaze but i'm talking about <laughs> some really good stuff here okay these major revamps are what makes this update special and you guys will see that in just a second just give me some time all right and like any other bro i keep getting confused with his mouse and my mouse oh my gosh show you everything we've laid out in these last couple of months and we about to show it right now all right and to start it off this update is going to introduce a couple of new islands in c3 i'm not talking about completely Ooh, look at that. Islands, but it's actually pretty big just pause visually and performance wise they are nice you eye or something for the really nice. top of the npcs performance issues on mobile and other consoles thankfully robux has released new performance tools over the last few years that can help out with that and we wanted to include them a while ago but Bloxers was way too outdated to use those features even though we wanted to include those changes we couldn't thankfully this update changes that as we're taking the first steps to make our game compatible with roblox performance tools and we're only going to start off with that in c3 and mind you i said start okay. off so that doesn't mean we're going to end in c3 we're just starting off this is a starting point all right starting from zero basically these three islands are a test to see how much the blocks maps can be improved without forcing our players to face performance issues all right and we're trying to keep lag in mind at all times while we're doing these updates we want to make sure that every single region every single device everybody can enjoy the game this. as much as the other I think that's what's making it even more lively. I think that's a good thing. I gotta give props to the team for always focusing on that. Alright, enough about that. Let's show some stuff that's been revamped. So the three islands in the background that you can see right now are Port, Great Tree, and Hydra Island. So if we keep those in okay. mind, I'm gonna show you a before and after right now. And if you guys have paid attention to the background this whole time, I've already given you guys a sneak peek of what some of it looks like, but let's go more in depth. I'll just mute it just in case it's copyrighted. If he starts talking, I'm just gonna unmute it. Don't worry. A new room? What is that? Oh, is that the, like the hunted place? I forgot what it's called. Or is that for race V4? Oh, that looks like Hadra. I'm like getting so confused right now. Yeah, hi that's Hydra. The chest they changed it now it shakes and all that yep hydra yep is that a random boss in the center i mean it looks really nice Black Aura. Oh, that's smoke. 
probably gonna be for a vent or something because ain't no way that's gonna be just for that if it is that just looks a little silly that might be for dragon me work got changed the models got changed it looks amazing and i'm not even trying to be glazing right now but let's keep it real the before and after is wild okay so here we got port we got the buildings right here and then we got hydra island which got Pew, a overhaul as well that island looks beautiful and then last but not least we got the great tree which probably all, some of y'all didn't expect it to be one of the three islands but here you can see in the background the great tree also got revamped Got a couple of new structures in the background. That's it. Really, really it just got a little bit taller. Right, so enough about make it harder games. for people to go now to V4. Some of the basic gameplay that has been enhanced as well. Alright, so the first thing I want to show you guys is the new quest NPC indicator. Alright. So as you guys can see, these little indicators got a visual update as well. And not only that, you can see that every okay, single okay, that's NPC stupid. in this game now doesn't has matter. idle animation. So that just makes it That's nice, but I, that doesn't matter. Uh, we don't care. It just looks better overall anyway. So when you go up to an NPC, they start glowing in a highlighted color. The rest is still the same. Again, but this useless. Every we don't NPC. care. So if I go up to the next NPC over here, same thing happens. Starts glowing green. Has a green aura. Pretty now, basic. It looks way better than before. If Again, don't still we don't care. They dropped or the current blocks is for you guys right now. They don't move. All they do is stand still. I can show you guys right now. So as you guys yeah, that's see cool. The right now, they are still not does not matter. Frozen. The NPC indicator isn't that good as well. So right here we got a couple of more that I can we get show it. you guys. It's pretty much the same, but they have different idle animations. Right here and right here, different idle animations. This makes the game feel overall better and gives the game more life. And not only that, we while we see one of this pant that has no pants. Gives the game more and All right, dude. That, we also have new chest animation. So let me find a chest real quick. Here we go. As you can see, in the old blocks, when none of the chests would move. They would just stand still. Yeah, also now, does not matter. More V effect, and they move. Got a new design. And once we collect it, it has an animation that plays with sound effects. So it's not stale no more. Let's see to make kids feel like they're actually getting more money. Here we have another chest, which is the golden one. Collect that. Yes, sir. We got some dollars coming as well. All right, let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about these quality of life changes, like the visual revamp of everything? Do you guys still like the old one? And if you do, you're capping. Or if you like the new one, let me know in the comment section as well. Still doesn't really matter. The beginning. And I know you guys have noticed the guns sticking to the side of my character, all right? In the old blocks, the guns would not show on your body at all. But now... We have the dual flint lock, which is a new weapon or a revamp weapon. To show you off some of that, I will be fighting some mobs. Not only did the guns get changed, but the mobs and the way they interact now is completely different as well. So they have different animations. And again, let me show you the before and after. In this version of the current blocks is the version for you guys. The mobs did not have a stun animation or have any at all besides like the M1s. Now, yeah, pretty boring in PvE. So let me show you guys the revamp version and the updated version. I'm telling you guys. The devs was cooking. All right, let's see. As you guys can see, the mob got knocked back and it had a stun animation. Okay, that's somewhat neat. Yes, sir. Now it's not just okay, that's, that's actually pretty cool. The gun. Have animation now. The gun animation looks really neat. See how I start glowing red when I get hit? They also start glowing red when they get hit. Bop. And another one. A little red indicator. It's a nice little feature. I also want to show off the new observation, all right? I know you guys have seen a sneak peek on Twitter, but I just want to give you guys a closer look right here. Weave, weave, weave. That looks nice. Y'all seen that? Y'all seen the new just a rework, though. sound effects? Boy, I feel like I got Ultra Instinct in here. Weave, Three reworks weave, of an weave, island. Weave. Or yes, that's sir. what it seems. Right. Next up, I want to talk about is the gun itself. And this is not the only gun that got revamped. Every single gun in the whole game got a visual revamp. Plus, I think most mostly people care about is the dragon. Showcase this one in this video, and I'm gonna showcase the rest of the guns in the upcoming trailer. I won't say when it is, but just know there's a trailer coming out soon. All right, so here's the M1. One of the things you see soon is probably like a month or next year. 
it has its own reload animation, its own walking style. When you sprint and dash as well, has its own animation. Plus, it kind of looks twice, goofy. So the gun mains are eating good this update. Every single gun main in the game is eating good. I think that's what they said last right, time, and that would like really became gun main. Aura. Tell me the new aura effects are not sick. Like I can show you again and before and after. Auras look pretty nice. They're pretty reload. decent. But yeah, this is what I mean, for the like the like weapons, not when it, the auras on your hand or your body it looks really weird. But here's just a little Still looks weird. The aura colors, all right? Another fact is with the old gun system, you can see how this gun shoots two times before reloading, right? The old gun system and the old system in general would not have allowed that. So that's why the whole gun system and the fighting system had to be changed in order for that to work. And since the devs now added the new combat system for the weapons and other stuff, it also makes it possible for the devs to add all types of weapons to interact with players or enemies. All right, next up, I want to talk about the new ability HUD. All right, as you guys can see right here, these are the new icons and the new ability HUD in general, okay? So for those of you who struggle to keep track of your cooldowns and stuff like that, now you So can basically see something like GPO has is obviously your V3 ability, which also got a visual revamp. Oh, and that looks really nice. Peak of one of them. Next up on not necessary, but aura, so now you can see if it's active or not. It will have a little highlight right here. For those Again, like GPO. Old, get to turn it on, you can see if it's on or not right here now. And then the same goes for your Who's copy who? You can see how many charges you have left right here. You have nine. I have nine out of nine. It hits me, for example. Now you can see those charges go down. Weave, weave, weave. Told you that. Ultra instant. You can see the charges right here go down. All right. And then next up, we have the R key, which is the flash step. You can also see it go on cooldown right here. It has a little timer. And you can see when it's back up. And you don't have to, like, assume when it's back up. You just know. Boom. Actually, has a 10 second cooldown. Don't quote me on the rest. And then last but not least, we have the V4 cooldown and the C, which is going to be the Y key. You can see I can use it right now before it was grayed out. And now since my bar is full, I can just press Y. And, press on. and that's it for the ability HUD. All right, with all of that said, we hope this video showed y'all a glimpse of the vision the devs had for so long. All right, is that we're it? Hype as hell to be sharing all of this finally, and we're just getting started. All right, are you so kidding me? This is just the beginning for this update and the future update. You're joking, all right? We only included the basic game performance upgrades, the FPC overhaul, and the new combat system today, but there's plenty more other things. And one of those things is going to be the rework mobile controls, which are optional, so y'all don't have Useless. to use it. But it's there in case you guys do want to use it, all right? So it, just, it gives y'all the chance to, like, try out new things. And plus, there's going to be minor things like the VIP server controls and the new fruit system, which we haven't shown today. We're all going to see it, but it's not today. Now that the update Maybe cycle is real, I'd also like to share that the first update trailer is going to showcase all the new guns, and it will be dropping soon. So make sure you turn on your notifications for the premiere, and let's get to it, all right? For anyone that's disappointed that this video isn't a trailer, this was just to give you all some peace of mind, which you guys deserve, and that it's finally time to reignite the hype for the update. And then I mean, we do want to apologize for the long delay. Again? We know it's been taking unreasonably long, but it's almost time. Stay tuned, all right? Hope you guys I just hope they add enough content. Not so much as too grindy, bro.